Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So guys, I know it's tough out there to get balls and everything else, especially at a good price. So hopefully I can guide you through how to, you know, lessen the load since inflation is going crazy. All right, stay tuned. Sponsoring my dark roast of the day is Enrique. Oh, Enrique, thank you so much. Uh, Enrique says, I love the show, bro. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I love you for uh, sponsoring my coffee. I appreciate and I appreciate you. Like, like Ted Lasso, I appreciate you, man. Mm. All right, if you want to sponsor my dark roast and roast me of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis band. Thank you in advance. Appreciate you. All right, so, hold on, sorry. Ah, okay, just needed another jolt. Um, during my time off, which is very few and far between, I actually go out to, you know, outlets like the Nike outlet, the Adidas outlet, my kid's favorite store, Target. Uh, sometimes I'll hit a Walmart. And I mean, what, I'm looking for like things that tennis balls and if they have rackets, if they have shoes, if they have caps, if they have socks, you know, kind of anything tennis related because I'm kind of researching the market and seeing um, how, you know, basically how bad it is out there with um, tennis equipment. So this year in particular, I've been actually looking at Costco to see if they have that one racket, you know, that Serena racket or the Fed comp or wh whatever they usually do. And they do it one time. And I don't think they're doing it this year because it would have been out by now. But I wanted to take you through what I found um, in those outlets and kind of alternatives to what you guys need. OK, it's been tough to get Nike clothes. Uh, everybody's asking for it. So, I mean, I went out to the Nike outlet and they didn't really have a whole lot. So I recommend like getting some training clothes and using that as an alternative especially at the outlet they have some great you know tees that are lightweight and are very breathable um, there are like regular kind of eight inch shorts that are kind of multi-sport that they are selling for i feel like it's 35 dollars or 30 bucks when you can find them in that clearance section of the nike outlet um, check that out that Adidas outlet is actually pretty good too. Less people are thinking about Adidas these days. So definitely um, go into Adidas too. Um, also, guys, my buddy Rafa from Brazil, you know, he did a video for me, Coach Rafa. He loves bargain hunting. He is the best. He'll go into a Dick Sports and literally raid that 90% off rack and find his gems. Like he always shows me what he buys. Um, he loves also going to like Marshalls and Ross and TJ Mac, TJ Max, and uh, you know basically finding that gem. Um, usually in either tennis or you know he loves like the Raiders so or the Oakland A's. So he'll always find something like that over there. So look at those places if you're. Um, you know, needing a pair of shorts. Like those places are the best during Halloween. You'll always find that that white polo shirt to look like McEnroe there. Okay? So let's let's move over here to rackets now. So as I said, that forty dollar racket at Costco probably not gonna be there this year. Um and it's been difficult because all the rackets prices have been going up. I suggest that you probably look at older models 
right? Seeing if you could get last year's Wimbledon version of a pure drive or a Roland Garros from last year or an Olympic version of, you know, a strike or a, you know, arrow, um, you know, going down that road, you can save yourself a couple bucks or guys, the hidden gem is our tango rackets, guys. So go to thecathlon.com, get that blue racket, the, the 930, right? And they have three different weights. No brainer. That's a great racket for anybody. Beginner, beginner, intermediate, you know, possibly even in advance can play with that racket. It's a, it's a, I, I definitely recommend it. It's on my high recommendation list and the, definitely the price is right. It's like two for one. You can get two of those for one of anything that's on the wall. And it's pretty strung and it's pretty strung and it ain't bad strings. It's actually pretty good strings. Okay. So try that. Our tango guys, our tango. Um, let's go down the balls. As you guys know, prices of balls are going are gone up already even at Costco and people are trying to get like 140 to 160 for a case of balls um don't wait on the balls if you see it for that $90 $85 price range for a case i mean it's it's good to store just uh, order it online buy it from your local place you know it, it's you're going to always need balls and it's not going to look good for at least another year or more from what I'm hearing, probably more. So, especially U.S. Open balls, okay, which is my ball of choice. Um, so get what you can on that ball side, okay. I've been telling you that already. On the shoe side of things, um, it is not good. It's actually pretty dire on the shoe side. Everybody's telling me we're not going to get back on track for at least a year and a half to two years. So all you ASICs people, you know what I'm talking about. I'm still surprised when people walk in here and say, uh, yeah, what's going on with shoes? Nationwide shortage? Oh, that's affecting tennis shoes? Uh, it's affecting everything. Well, I thought I could get something. All right, so with ASICs out of the game, um, Mizuno's actually been shipping Get those Mizunos while you can. If you see the New Balance, my one of my favorite shoes, the Lab Fresh Foams, get those. Um, the Turbos that I keep talking about have a new name, and I don't know the new name, but get it, okay? Get it. That's a good shoe. Those are, I'm going to be doing, I would do a, a shoe video, but they ain't no shoes for me to do a video on. I'll be doing one with a bunch of pictures. So, um, yeah, get the shoes when you see them um i'm telling people don't don't care about the color it amazes me when they come in as you got a different color and then they don't get that shoe they walk out and then next person walks in nabs it up so get whatever color you can get if, especially if you need them because it's not going to be anywhere else okay so just to let you know i went to um, a couple nike outlets and I actually found some gems. I went out to uh, a place called Westgate Shopping Center. I think it used to be called Westgate Mall. And I went into that um, Nike outlet. Right at the front door, I found some Nike Quart. You know, like the little Quart on the caps. So I was like, oh, what the heck? So... Uh, I looked at it and I was like, okay. And then right next to that, there were feather light caps for $19.99. Nike feather light caps in white and black. And they had a ton of them. Um, it's, it's Westgate Shopping Center, Nike outlet in San Jose, uh, California. If, if you're live near there, they had a ton of them. I don't know if they still do, but, um, and they had a good amount of shorts. They were just athletic shorts, but definitely with pockets. And you can use whatever you want. You know, you could use it for whatever sports you want. Um, on the shoe side in there, I found Monarch 4s in different sizes, especially 10 and a half that everybody keeps asking me for. And they had widths 
two. So they had a regular, a double E, and four E, Fred Flintstones people out there, um, in stock. So in the white. And they were like on sale for, I feel like they were 60 or 70 bucks. $59.99 or $69.99. So in a pinch, you need a tennis shoe, great bargain shoe. Great, great bargain shoe. Good cushioning, good arch support. I've done videos on that one before in the past. So try those, okay? Go to the outlets, hit the discount stores. You never know what you're going to find. All right, guys, good luck. Happy hunting. Don't forget the Goodwills. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Hey man, he, you can tell he be some, through some emotional damage. No man, <laughs> you look like you went through hell and back. You need some AP tennis, that's what you need. Babe, I, I have some emotional damage. Uh.